Hey, this is Chandra with the God Said Disrupt Prophetic Word for us today. Let us pray so that we may be in the spirit to receive all the blessings and revelations that the Lord has brought forth for us in this hour. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you that you lift us up. We thank you that you give us opportunity to sit at your feet and receive your revelation at any hour and any moment. Lord God, we praise you for your graciousness. We praise you for your mercy and we praise you for giving us instruction and direction in this hour. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you would be here to deliver this word on time to your children so that we may be in in position to receive all the blessings that you are preparing for us. We thank you, Abba. We thank you, Holy Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. In your mighty name, we pray. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm so happy that the Lord um, led you to me. My name is Chandra, and I am prayerful that this word will be for you. Um, and just know that you can take it into the spirit, test it in the spirit, test me in the spirit and all things. But make sure you're talking to Holy Spirit when you're doing that um, so that you are in compliance with what the Lord is calling you for to do in this hour. And thank you for my returners for liking, sharing and subscribing and always for um, being a part of the community. And I am very grateful for all um, of you who share in any way that you do. I am very grateful for all my returners and for my newcomers. Thank you for being here. Now, God said it is a supernatural sign, September. 2 Peter 2, 8 says, For the righteous man living among them day after day was tormented in his righteous soul by the lawless deeds he saw and heard. In Jesus' mighty name. God said the counterfeit is cut off. And so he gave me that segment of the word at 553. The counterfeit is cut off in Jesus' mighty name. But if you have been dealing with counterfeit relationships in this season, know that the Lord is saying that he has cut the counterfeit off. And so any loose ends from any conversations that you have had, you don't have to have them. If you choose not to say a prayer and release them and the Lord will take care of it. And or if you are in a back and forth conversation with a counterfeit, you should know that you would be out of compliance to continue the conversation because the Lord have said that the counterfeit is cut off. So if you have prayed and said, Lord, is this person real? Are they a real friend? Are they a true friend? Are they a counterfeit or are they someone who is here as a distraction of any kind from the from the enemy? Know that your enemy is sending you decoys to delay you, to distract you, to derail you. And then your counterfeit to oftentimes sent by the Lord um, as a means to test you and so if the counterfeit is cut off then that means that that your testing window um, is nearing its completion and so you want to just pray and ask the Lord to um, confirm this but definitely know that the Lord said this morning the counterfeit is cut off in Jesus mighty name and so as I looked up that in Hebrew strong concordance as far as the the time frame was be physically and mentally confirm is the word it says be courageous of good courage steadfast mindness and stronger there's an establishment that will fortify you in this word that the Lord has brought forth and know that in your compliance that you shall see your strength and so Greek 553 means expect fully look and wait he brought the word to me as I came out of a dream around 4 41 a.m. this morning God said do not trade your destiny for a cheat meal as Esau traded his destiny for some beans y'all yeah so be prepared in the field turn your flesh down to withstand any delays destructions and derailment by anyone uh, or with anyone as you go out and about God said allow me to join you so many of you in this season your test is in your test involves a um, a meal or a dinner or a date of some sort or an outing or just fellowshipping with people and maybe this is a new person that you're having the opportunity to fellowship with but know that if you are called in this season for a specific destiny partner like the Lord has identified who your kingdom spouse is going to be then you definitely want to stay in position of having the Lord be a part of your conversation and be a witness for all that you're doing and saying. So keeping yourself in position keeps you in compliance with the Holy Spirit, but also it keeps you from derailing your destiny. You do not want to be like Esau. Um, if you haven't read that, then go into the book of Genesis and you'll see that where he um, came to his brother and came to Jacob and he basically gave his inheritance as the first right born to Jacob because he was hungry like he was vexed and vexed from hunger and so you don't want it to be that a meal of any kind 
sets you back or shopping of any kind sets you back or a gift from someone that can't, comes um, um, out of a surprise to set you back, right? Because we are chosen people will have those encounters all the time and, and this is an opportunity for you to test to show the lord that you are ready and that you can keep your guard um up you will have your discernment up to do the work that the lord has called you to do and one you want to start with asking the lord if you can attend this function you want to ask the lord if you can attend this function that way you are prepared because it keeps you in mindset that the lord is with you in guarding your ways all that you're doing right and so we're not on our own schedule we're on the lord's schedule amen first corinthians 1 7 says therefore you do not lack any spiritual gifts as you eagerly wait for our lord jesus christ to be revealed and galatians 5 5 says for though the spirit we eagerly await by faith the righteousness for which we hope know that your grace is elevated and your your power is magnified in the season and so people are going to be attracted to you they're automatically attracted to your light and then all other things that you bring forth to the table so know that you are um, being encountered by people or you will be encountered this is an advanced warning for many of you to know that you will be encountered but you need to be in place and in position with the Lord and so then around 441 like this message started pretty early it says defend your destiny defend your destiny and that's when I woke up so he gave me the word at 441 and then he started giving me a breakdown but he had me put forth the 553 word first and so at 441 he said defend your destiny and that means a familiar friend a gentle um tame person although masculine to um to be a chieftain a notable like neat um captain or duke or chief so whomever this person is there's a friendly disposition amongst you but know that you are called to be a witness for the lord and if you are chosen or spoken for then you maintain it as though that person is present even if you have not met them in jesus mighty name y'all so micah 7 5 says do not trust a neighbor put no confidence in a friend even with the woman who lies in your embrace guard the words of your lips yes lord god because you have um it monitoring spirits all over the place and, and if you're in a situation where you've moved into a new location and this involves you whether you're with family or with friends or you're um caring for someone or you're seeing someone like um, keeping time with someone in particular you want to just be mindful not to let your guard down because in this hour there are tons of monitoring spirits but then also that the lord even though he's taking care of the counterfeit you don't want to expose yourself before um, the Lord has called you to be forth as exposed and so Greek 441 says a man courting that uh, fawning a man pleaser and your your word for this is um, Ephesians 6 6 obey them not only to win their favor when their eye is on you but as slaves of Christ doing the will of God from your heart and Colossians 3 2 2 says similar slaves obey your earthly masters and everything and do it not only when their eyes are on you and curry their favor but with sincerity of heart and reverence for the lord hallelujah because he is good to us y'all he is good to us to put us in situations where we get to minister to people on all different levels whether they be someone that um, is in family and you need to heal the sick or you need to prophesy a word over someone or you're just generally just spending time with people you want to make sure that you're not allowing your guard to be um let down in a way sorry here i have my little strap on sorry um you don't want to let your guard down in a way that keeps you um tied to a scenario you definitely don't want to be where you create a hardship for yourself down the road okay and so then lastly um as i was um coming back from doing laundry i looked over and i saw a fence and th this word started for me yesterday in all actuality as i thought as the lord kind of brought all the things together for me the pieces together for me and so the fence had a phone number on it and that phone number ended in 9999 so 9999 and we know that that means um be courageous be um steadfast and be a um, of confidence that the lord is with you in this hour and so the lord is saying be courageous your deep put your defense up in a way that you plead the blood of jesus over everything including a meal if you're going forth with eating with friends but jesus is your titan so you want to make sure that you fortify your hedge of protection wear your armor of god when you go out 
don't take it lightly that just because you're with someone an acquaintance that it is safe that it, that you're covered you want to make sure that you wear your armor of god any place that you go um especially if you're leaving a consecrated space like the home or the room or wherever you are and then know that there are no expectations with friends so whether this friend has said um, you are um, clear that he, he or she is not trying to court you, he or she is not trying to befriend you, anything beyond being just friends, know that the enemy can still use people in ways that will surprise you and know that you are covered and protected when you have your whole armor of God on. And that keeps you also in a spiritual check. That keeps you in a place of knowing that you're staying consecrated and knowing that you are bringing forth the best um, thought and heart for what the Lord have you doing in this hour. And then you can also receive from Holy Spirit during this time so that you may minister to them in any way that he is identifying as you spend time together. Now, God said your counterfeit is cut off know that in this season in this moment in this little stretch there is a test that is coming and that you need to defend your destiny and so make sure you're staying mindful to what you're doing and how you're doing it and who you're doing it with and then you want to make sure that you guard your mouth guard your mouth don't get so talky at the mouth because you don't want to let um it privy to things that are not um, to be discerned by others or not to be shared with others in this hour like this test is really a test of all things like a checks and balances of all things so be courageous and have fun but know that you must maintain your defense in pleading the blood of jesus so when you pray you plead the blood of jesus over everything and that create a hedge of protection around yourself so let us pray heavenly father we thank you for your grace and mercy as we plead the blood of jesus as our covenant with our father we know that we are covered and protected and that you lift us up as psalms 91 says but as we put our whole armor of god on this in this hour lord god that you lift us to a place of security you lift us to a place of being consecrated and you lift us to a place of hearing you ever ready so we know if we're turning to the right or to the left of what we should be doing we invite you in holy spirit we invite you into the conversations we invite you into the meals we invite you into the traveling to and from or wherever we're going and whatever we're doing lord god we thank you that you would want to be with us in all times of the day and we also lift up a hallelujah to you for giving us advance notice it is in your name jesus that we pray amen yes so i pray that this will find you in good spirits thank you holy spirit for your presence and your truth today we thank you for bringing forth this revelation and teaching here and now in this this very brief moment but know that we exalt you lord and we give you all glory and honor we thank you O king of glory on high forever you are lifted amen yeah, so now be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and comment, y'all. And know that when you share this with a friend, that the Lord is going to bless you for doing so because it's reaching all he is intended for it to reach. See the description box if you um, are so led to offer. If you want to leave a comment, please do so because the Lord is here and he is answering your prayers and answering your comments. Blessings and favor to each of you. I declare and decree, God said go forth supernaturally to operate, to witness, and to live in Jesus' name for God's glory, y'all. Hallelujah. Yes. Bye.